On May 22nd, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said, It is our expectation that when the time comes for it to be released, we will be able to recommend strongly to Canadians a particular app that will help us manage the spread of COVID-19. He's talking about contact tracing, the practice of tracking people who may have come in contact with an infected person in order to get them tested and isolated. It's widely viewed as vital to a country's pandemic recovery. And now there is a Made in BC contact tracing app that addresses privacy and tra- tracing concerns that make many people wary. Faye Arjomandi is the CEO and founder of Mimic Technologies. Good morning. Good morning. So how does this app differ from any other contact tracing app? Uh, Yes, John. Uh, Pandemic is uh, really addressing the issue of contact tracing, meaning that the data remains on your device and you pretty much doing the tracing for yourself. But uh, at the same time, there is an ability that when an infectious person uh, gets diagnosed and is infected, uh, there is an anonymous message can be sent and broadcasted uh, through your device to all the other devices that have been within your proximity Mm -hmm. without revealing anybody's uh, user information, without revealing any user information. So if I got a message from somebody who had pandemic, uh, it would just say, you should go and get tested. You may have been exposed uh, to somebody who was positive and, uh, you know, look after your health. Uh, Absolutely. Absolutely. And the message does not reveal that it was, for instance, from me. And also uh, the message that gets sent does not reveal that it comes to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, everything is anonymized uh, uh, through and it's initiated from the devices itself. Uh, this is because the, our underlying technology turns the device into a cloud server itself. Wow. So that's uh, patented technology? That is a patented technology that is uh, mimic. Uh, we've been in a stalk mode for a long period of time, and uh, we've been developing an, a platform that is called Hybrid Edge Cloud mm. uh, that basically turns the device into a cloud server. And uh, and obviously, it wasn't designed <laughs> for... No. Uh, it wasn't... I mean, we didn't develop this for the COVID-19, but it's much more uh, horizontal platform across all industries. But uh, given uh, currently we're dealing with uh, the threat of uh, uh, data privacy or, or losing data privacy, uh, we took the initiative of developing the application using the technology to address the data privacy. So there's so some insurance company or my insurance company couldn't look into this uh, cloud or whatever and find out that uh, I I had been told to go see my doctor and get tested. Absolutely, no, nobody can look into it. Uh, to it, you you personally have uh, the choice of initiating the conversation with your health insurance. Mm-hmm. Uh, or anybody else, doctors, uh, but even there, you have the control uh, over whether they can see, for instance, your data, or they can copy it, uh, and you can revoke that uh, permission at any time. That's okay. the whole new uh, frontier and the technology that we believe, generally speaking, uh, we should have control over our data. How can the public trust a company that's involved in uh, tracking to be open about its data usage and truthful about those protections? Uh, we actually been uh, uh, speaking up about the data rights and data piracy uh, uh, recently quite a lot, even before uh, COVID-19. That generally speaking, uh, it seems that one thing they have lost uh, is the right to our data, mm-hmm. uh, and the data is getting our data is getting monetized constantly, uh, and we have no control over it. Uh, uh, and and now that we're talking about such an uh, in, uh, important, uh, important issue, which yeah. is our health, yes. you know, our health and 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 being watched. Uh, uh, and traced all the time. Like, I would not download an application that does that 
uh, for myself, you mm-hmm. know. Uh, so I think it's uh, uh, once the user uh, uh, can use the application and truly see uh, that their data is not uh, uh, going anywhere, it's uh, it's on their device, and uh, and uh, even their data doesn't go to someone else's devices. Right. Then with a little bit of education and awareness, we can tackle this issue and create a trust with the public. So it's on my phone. It's not any place else, and uh, and that's the the main safety feature, I guess, is the fact that it's not uh, mm-hmm. up in the cloud somehow. Absolutely. That's the main thing, that yeah. your data, uh, regardless of what type of whether it's health or uh, in future your banking or mm-hmm. your shopping experience, they're all on your device. Uh, and you have uh, the control uh, over who can access it, who to give it to, uh, and and that's important uh, in the next era of the internet as we go to more uh, digital solutions. And right on. Uh, quite important for the contact tracing purpose. So, what one of the things that's puzzling is pandemic, which is it's P A N D E M I K, correct? P-A-N-D-I-M-I-K okay. is the name of the application right. that, uh, that, that we have uh, selected for it so far. Okay, P-A-N-D-I-M-I-K. And, but I can't, yes. I, I can't download it yet. Why can't I download it? Yes, uh, uh, very good question. Uh, Apple and Google, uh, they're not, they do not allow any application that relates to COVID-19 to be published on their App Store unless uh, it's backed and sponsored by the uh, health authorities or government, oh, federal wow. or provincial. Uh, That is, yes, Uh, that is uh, why uh, they've been active uh, in communicating with uh, both federal and provincial government and health authorities uh, about our solution. Uh, And we were actually invited uh, to to attend uh, to uh, and present at the Technology Standing Committee of the House of Commons, Canadian House of Commons, uh, along with IBM and Google uh, on May 21st. Wow. So we are in conversation, uh, mm. but um, but unless you don't have the backing of uh, provincial or uh, federal health or government organizations, we won't be able to publish this application for consumers. Cool. Uh, but we are, uh, for the enterprise side, uh, uh, in terms of going back to workplace safely and reopen the economy, uh, we are in conversation and discussion with uh, multiple large enterprises. Wow. So, so May 25th, you go to the House of Commons or you'll Zoom it and uh, you'll give your evidence and maybe the government will put the uh, stamp of approval on pandemic. Yes, May 21st, yes. May 21st? That's better. Okay, yes. that's sooner. Well, that yes. is really, <laughs> really cool. So let's see what happens with pandemic, the BC-made solution to the contact tracing problem. That is just something else. Well, I really appreciate it, Faye. Thank you so much. It's been a great pleasure. We're speaking with Faye Arjomandi, the CEO and founder of Mimic Technologies. Thank you.